Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. I'm Amy's mom, and today Amy asked me if I would teach Eric how to make apple hill cake. This is a recipe that I've had for many years. It is very moist and is wonderful to keep over because it continues to get more moist. So join us as we make apple hill cake. Okay, Eric, the first thing we're going to do is to prepare the dry ingredients. So take the two cups of flour. Here, let me put this out. Okay. Um, a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. And a teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh. Okay. Then you're going to take this whisk and you're going to blend those together. Just gently blend them together until it's all mixed. And we'll set this aside until... Now we're going to prepare the wet ingredients. So you have two eggs. Two eggs. A half a cup of cooking oil. Half a cup of cooking oil. And I take the whisk and whip that up a little bit to where it's blended well. Set this aside. We'll put that over here in that cup. We're going to add the two the uh, two cups of sugar and blend that up. You can actually use the spoon for that. Okay, get that all blended together. Now we're going to add the apples to this. What kind of apples are we using? These are uh, Granny Smith apples. Very good for cooking. And you could use any other kind of cooking apple. And we're going to blend this together till it's mixed together really well. Then we'll add the dry ingredients. Uh, the first time I made this cake, I thought, oh my goodness, this is just not going to work. There's, it's just apples covered with goo. But you'll see when it turns out what a wonderful surprise it will be. I can, okay. con I can confirm these are full of goo at this point. Now, just go ahead, dump it, and then we'll stir it. And you'll see what I was talking about. Okay. Okay, just keep stirring till we get them all stirred up. Stirring until all those dry ingredients are blended with the wet ingredients. Are you saying I'm putting KitchenAid out of business by stirring this by hand? Oh, you wouldn't want to do this with a KitchenAid. Why? I don't think so, because it would chop your apples up more, probably. The KitchenAid doesn't do anything better? Well... It's getting sticky. I'll confirm. Okay. Look at this. It's sticky. Get this. Make sure we've got all of that together. Looks super, Eric. So now we're going to bring our 9 by 13... Look, look at it. Look at it. Oh. Okay, look just up. leave it. Just That is gooey. It is. We're going to use our 9 by 13 baking pan, which we have prepared by greasing with... Uh, cooking oil and we're going to take the the apples them in to the pan probably see what my reaction was the first time I made this thinking oh my goodness how is this going to work? I get, I get leftovers, right? Okay, let's set that aside. Our apple, our gooey apples into this pan. Okay, all right, here, Eric, you wanna finish that up? Yeah, what do you want me to do? Just, yeah, that looks pretty good. Just smear it around. Okay, all right, looks good. Okay, now we're going to take our 9 by 13 pan that's filled with our apple mixture and place it into a 350 degree oven for an hour. And we'll see how this turns out. So we baked this for the full hour. We used a toothpick to make sure it came out clean because this cake will fall if you take it out before it's fully cooked. 
Uh, we let it cool off for about 30, 45 minutes because, you know, this thing said it was pretty hot and I didn't want to burn myself. So we're all good. So now let's take a taste. Thank you, Mommy. You can give me a bigger piece than that. I'm gonna give you a piece of this. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. Is that gonna work? Yeah, there you go. Okay, there's one. Oops. Looks good. Well, it's all light and flaky on the top, right? Yes. I can see that. So let's take a taste. First of all, this is moist. The apples are soft. All the ingredients that you threw in there are all blended together. I don't mm -hmm. necessarily taste one more than the other. Mm -hmm. And you're saying based on experience, if this survives a night, it'll become more moist the longer That's it correct. sits. The longer it sits, the more moist it gets. So wow. it's a wonderful keeping cake. Wow. If you like this recipe, please subscribe below and leave a comment and a like and visit our website, amylearnstocook.com. And also visit us on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook. This is Amy and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button and join us as we take this journey to become better cooks. Don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what you'd like us to cook. Again, thanks for watching.